Aspirin can be synthesized from 2-hydroxybenzoic acid and ethanoic anhydride. The alcohol group acts as the nucleophile and the carbonyl group acts as the electrophile, producing an ester. Ethanoic acid is the byproduct of the reaction. There is often more than one way to make a compound by using different reagents. In the case of aspirin, the alcohol group is integral to the product, so this reagent must be kept the same. However, since only part of the ethanoic anhydride remains in the product, an alternative reagent can be used. The electrophile splits during the reaction. One fragment forms part of the product and the remaining fragment forms the byproduct. If the electrophile is replaced by another compound, the part that forms the ester must be the same, but the leaving group can be different. This will result in the same product, but a different byproduct. When trying to decide the best choice of reagent, you need to consider many factors, including the quantity and purity of the aspirin you need to synthesize, the cost of production, and any risks to health and the environment. Using a more reactive reagent will reduce the reaction time and increase the yield. However, more reactive reagents tend to be more harmful and the costs of making the production safe are likely to be greater. When chemists use hazardous chemicals in the laboratory, they carry out reactions on a small scale. They avoid contact with dangerous chemicals by using fume cupboards and other specialist equipment. To make the industrial production as environmentally friendly as possible, we must try to minimise chemical waste, reduce energy consumption and avoid chemicals that harm the environment. It's also important to ensure that the final product is free from contaminants. In this level, you'll get to explore the reagents that react with 2-hydroxybenzoic acid to produce aspirin, consider economic, safety and environmental factors and choose appropriate reagents for different situations.